Vermont's on track to receive federal funding as the state considers an Amtrak expansion. A million dollars could be the ticket to the Ethan Allen Express, adding stops in Manchester and Bennington. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live at the Burlington Amtrak station to tell us what transportation officials are considering. Melissa? Good morning, Alyssa and John. VTrans emphasizes this plan is in the very, very early stages, and this funding would really provide a scope of what expansion hypothetically could look like. Regardless, towns that would be impacted say this could be a win for their communities. Rutland connects northern and southern Vermont and also serves as the gateway to Albany, New York and beyond thanks to the Ethan Allen Express. Convenience for business travelers and ease of ease of um, commute for, for them and the ability to bring skiers up here on the weekends. Rutland Mayor Mike Donges says the Amtrak route is commonly used for weekend excursions, but there's potential for the Ethan Allen Express to expand in southern Vermont, offering one service a day. It's in our statewide rail plan to look at whether it makes sense to keep the Amtrak Ethan Allen in Vermont longer and go down through Manchester and Bennington. We don't have all the data on that. We don't know if that makes sense 100%, although in concept you would think uh, it could make sense. Dan DeLaburee of VTran says federal funding coming from the Corridor Identification Program will help clearly establish which routes are and aren't feasible for Vermont Rail, its neighboring states, and Canada. Now that we have sort of a holistic view of the entire network and how all the corridors tie together, uh, I think it's you're going to see a difference over the next decade of uh, you know, how people expand and use rail. Donja says while this plan isn't necessarily a commuter rail, he says he likes the idea of continued connection among communities and would love to see a commuter line at some point too. I think would be very helpful in what we see is currently a housing and affordability crisis. And in Manchester, town manager Scott Murphy says being connected to Rutland and beyond on the express would be beneficial for the area. The throughway from on the southwestern side is um, is a non-high-speed highway. You know, Route 7 is the only north sells all kinds of uh, streetlights and things like that. NVTRAN says they're working on receiving that funding and they have a couple of months to figure out the scope of that plan and what that expansion hypothetically could look like. Live in Burlington, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.